Learning Objectives After completing this digital module, learners will be able to understand the basic differences between microeconomics and macroeconomics, learn about some salient features of the capitalist economy, learn about four major sectors in an economy according to the macroeconomic point of view, learn about the historical context of Great Depression and its influence on the studies of macroeconomics. Learn the interrelations between the total production of the country and rate of interests, wage rates and other attributes. Macroeconomics and its emergence. What is macroeconomics? Macroeconomics is the branch of economics that studies the behavior and performance of an economy as a whole. Additionally, we can observe that in addition to using the tools of microeconomics such as supply and demand analysis, macroeconomics utilize aggregate measures like gross domestic product GDP, unemployment rates and the consumer price index CPI to study the large-scale repercussions of micro-level decisions. Macroeconomic policy is usually implemented through two sets of tools, viz. the fiscal and monetary policy. Fiscal policy is the use of government's revenue and expenditure as instruments to influence the economy. Examples of such tools are expenditure, taxes and debt. On the other hand, the central banks implement monetary policy by controlling the money supply through several mechanisms. These policies focus on limiting the effects of the business cycle to achieve the economic goals of price stability, full employment and growth. Various economic agents. An economic decision maker who can recognize that different factors influence and motivate different economic groups is called the economic agent. There are three types of economic agents. 1. Consumers, who consumes a produced good or service, generally by financial purpose. 2. Firm's role is to transfer factors of production into goods and services to sell. 3. Governments, which provide the rules for how firms and consumers should interact. This is evident in developed economies. Emergence of macroeconomics Until the 1930s, most economic analysis was focused on microeconomic phenomena and concentrated primarily on the study of individual consumers, firms and industries. Accordingly, such economists believe the economy-wide events such as rising unemployment and recessions are like natural phenomena and cannot be avoided. The emergence of macroeconomics changed the scenario entirely and initiated the new scope of the discussion in this regard. Origin and Context of Macroeconomics Origin of Macroeconomics John Maynard Keynes attacked some of these classical theories and produced a general theory that described the whole economy in terms of aggregates rather than individual microeconomic parts. Attempting to explain unemployment and recessions, he noticed the tendency for people and businesses to hoard cash and avoid investment during a recession. He argued that this invalidated the assumption of classical economists who thought that markets do not leave any surplus of goods and no willing labor left their idle. The generation of economists that followed Keynes synthesized his theory with neoclassical microeconomics. Historical Context of Capitalist Enterprises Capitalism is an economic system based upon private ownership of the means of production and their operation for profit. Characteristics central to capitalism include private property, capital accumulation, wage labor, voluntary exchange, a price system, 
and competitive markets. In a capitalist market economy, decision-making and investment are determined by every owner of wealth, property or production system in capital markets, whereas the prices and the distribution of goods and services are mainly determined by competition in goods and services markets. Most existing capitalist economies are mixed economies, which combine elements of free markets with state intervention and in some cases economic planning. Household sectors in macroeconomics. The aggregate macroeconomic sector that includes the entire wants and needs satisfying population of the economy. The primary economic role of the household sector is consumption. The share of gross domestic product purchased by the household sector is termed consumption expenditures. This is one of four macroeconomic sectors. The other three are business sector, government sector and foreign sector. Summary Let us summarize what we have learnt. Macroeconomics deals with the aggregate economic variables of an economy. Prices of different goods and services generally have a tendency to rise or fall simultaneously. The price or employment level of this representative good will reflect the general price and employment level of the economy. Macroeconomic policies are pursued by the state itself or statutory bodies like the Reserve Bank of India, RBI, Securities and Exchange Board of India, SEBI and similar economic institutions. The Great Depression of 1929 and the subsequent years saw the output and employment levels in the countries of Europe and North America fall by huge amounts. A typical capitalist enterprise has one or several entrepreneurs where people exercise control over major decisions and bear a large part of the risk associated with the firm enterprise. After producing output with the help of these three factors of production, namely capital, land and labor, the entrepreneur sells the product in the market.